we soak this with that beef masala or the beef chili so let me just go guys it's going to be a mouthful so excuse me What's up everyone? I hope you are having an amazing day. This is Dominic Daniel and welcome to our channel Angri Macha. And today we are in Shivaji Nagar. Just when you walk past by St Mary's Basilica Church in Shivaji Nagar and somehow manage to ignore the traffic sound and the blaring on you will arrive at a crossroad and after that guys it's all about the sizzle and the pops of the kadai the smoke of the tandoor and your nostrils will be assailed with the sheer number of smell i'm really excited so let's go see what this Shivaji Nagar street food is all about let's go Guys, check this out. Today we are bringing you a street food adventure in Shivaji Nagar. So behind me you can see all the fresh meat, all the meat that the butchers are selling. And on my right hand side, this is more interesting for us. This one singular road where people are dishing out some amazing and delicious food from a land unknown. And the amazing thing about this commercial hub is the people of all religion, all languages come together, blend together, and live their life harmoniously, which you can see right here. Okay guys from here it's time to roll up our sleeves you can only see the smoke wafting through the air so let's go and check what a meal or rather what a street meal in Shivaji Nagar tastes like come on guys Okay guys our first stop is in Savara cafe and they are dishing out some samosa some desserts over here and also their iconic Soleimani so here i have their pyaaz ki samosa and keema ka samosa so i think i'll start with the uh, onion samosa over here Wow, you can hear the crackle. Mm. It's hot. You can see the steam coming out. I like the filling in this guys. And and also the sweetness from the onion and the spices that they have used. Wow. This is the filling. bhai chai udhar hi hai i have i have also ordered for a sole maning that's i think it's going to come now guys what a way to kick start a street food adventure in shivaji nagar so oh. mm. wow so guys here we have the akima samosa and ultimate dish in savera cafe guys Samosa itself is the ultimate street food in India and considering it's a keema samosa it's a double dhamaka which means another level of deliciousness okay enough of talking now let me take a bite mm mm it's a mouthful bite mm i wish this samosa was a rather odd for me it's fine all right the meat is bit smoky the flavor in the samosa is the ultimate guys The chewy. There's definitely the difference between the pyaaz samosa and the keema samosa because the pyaaz samosa is stuffed with a lot of onion. In the keema samosa, the onions are little, but the meat is ultimate. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys, now we are going to go to the iconic Soleiman eating. You can see all the lemon pulp that's percolated at the bottom of the Soleiman tea, guys. And I also like the color of this tea. So let me just go for it. Mm, you definitely have the citric note in it. Mm. Wow, kya tea hai? What a tea, guys. Wow, guys. That mix of that sugar and that citric notes adds balance the Soleiman tea. and also to let you know in arabic sulaimani tea means or sulaimani means a man of peace after drinking this i'm definitely a man of peace over here hello sir how are you sir tea no 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 all right people are so happy people are so good over here so sweet sir saab ka naam manzur ahmed manzur ahmed hello sir how are you 
Okay, sir. Okay, guys, enough of the tea and the samosa. Now let's go to the real street food adventure of Shivaji Nagar, guys, after this tea. Mm. What a Suleimani. Okay guys, this is our second pit stop. I like the stall, I like the whole vibrant and colorful and also that sheik kebab cooking in that grill and that aroma of that smoke. So we are gonna try a plate of sheik kebab and a plate of shemia, also known as the string hoppers. But yeah, a sheik egg plate or a shemia egg plate. So guys, what better way to start a street food adventure with some sheik kebab and some idea palm over here. So let me just go with the sheik kebab, squeeze some lemon, just get that citric flavor. Guys, it looks very rustic first of all, if you can see the dish, go for it. Mm. You can see the umami of fat that's coming out of this guys. Mm. It's flavorful. The spice level is perfect. But yeah, both are good. Thank you. Okay guys, so let's move on to that idea pump. This gentleman was so kind, like I said before. He soaked this with that beef masala or the beef chili. So let me just go. Guys, it's gonna be a mouthful. So, excuse me. Wow, this idea pump has soaked all the goodness of that beef chili, guys. Wow, but I actually wanted to have this idea pump with that with a sheet kebab. I wanted to mold the idea pump. Wow, wow, I'm having an ultimate time over here, guys. Whoa, sorry, guys. Mm. Wow. Mm. The beef masala, the string hopper, and the sheik kebab. What I like about this is that sheik kebab, guys. The sheik kebab stands out. gonna be my last bite of stall we have many more stalls to visit so let's go and continue with a street food adventure in Shivaji Nagar mm. so guys our third pit stop is gonna be here so actually there's no shop name because it's all a stall over here and these guys have a lot of varieties of non-vegetarian food. So let's go and check what is in the menu, guys. Let's go. Bhai, kya kya hai? Masala, kya hai? Beef masala. Beef masala, beef masala. Uh, hey? Chicken wheel kebab. Chicken wheel kebab. Hey, guys. So we have ordered some beef chili. It looks very rustic. And to go with that, we have ordered some shemia. Again, idea palm. Because idea palm is considered to be a stable bread over here. Because I saw some people selling just idea palms. Thank you, sir. I like the service, it's very quick. I think I'm gonna sit and eat, take my time and taste this food, guys. Okay, guys, so now it's time to dig in. So, before I taste the idea from with this beef chili, I, let me just try the beef chili first. Mm. Mm. It definitely has a, a bite to it. Mm. It's a chunky meat guys, it's not tender. But definitely has a spice to it, has a chili in it. And it's kind of a chili that sits right back at your throat. So guys, now let me try with the shemia or the idea pump. Mm. Let me soak in all that goodness of this dish. Mm. Wow. Yeah, 
if this is the kind of street food Shivaji Nagar is selling, guys, this has to go viral. The street food here is really amazing, guys. So much of variety, so much of different kind. And when I came here, I was expected the food to be greasy or spicy, but guys, the food here is actually palatable and it's very delicious, guys. So if you want to know the exact location from St. Mary's Basilica Church, just keep coming down the road and it's a street food paradise over here. Wow. Mm. Okay guys, the rates over here are not that premium. They are actually quite cheap and quite affordable. The sheik kebab which we ate, uh, I think it was two sheik kebab or rather one plate of sheik kebab with the uh, shami or the idea pump. I think he charges 90 bucks. And this beef chili is only 70 bucks guys. It's, I, I think this is amazing over here. Because it tastes so good and it's worth the money as well. So guys, this is our fourth pit stop in Shivajinagar street food. So this looks very interesting and this is your name? Imran. Mr. Imran just told us that this is green chilli, this is the red chilli. So we are going to go with the green chilli because it looks very vibrant and colourful. And along with that, we are going to try the nalli soup, the beef nalli soup. Let's go. Okay guys, here we have the nalli soup and the green chilli. So I think I'm going to start with the soup. It is the beef nalli soup guys. So let me give it a mix. Mm. Wow. Before I even talk about the soup, guys, just look at all the goodness and all the gelatin that's floating on top of the soup. This soup is warm, it's comforting, and it just slithers down your throat, guys, and just right into your stomach. Now, let me try with the nalli. This beautiful nalli. Hello. 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 Mm. Wow, guys, you don't even need your teeth to bite this nali, guys. It's like butter. It's like a butter. Just look at this. Just like a butter, guys. Just fatty butter of the bone marrow. And in terms of flavor, it has a cinnamony flavor in this, or the cinnamony notes is coming out of the soup. In in terms of the spice, it's perfect. Mm. Guys, so let's move on and try their special dish, which is the green chili here. So let me take a good piece. Mm. Yeah, let me just. Mm. Again, as a, a bite to it. Mm. Quite interesting, guys. Though it doesn't look appetizing, I'll tell you what. It tastes even better than what I expected to be. Mm. Wow. Mm. If I had to talk about the flavor, there is no coriander used or no pudina used because I'm sure when you see the color of this, you might be wondering. I think they would have used the green color essence on this. Mm. It's a little oily, guys, I would say. But a very interesting dish. Green chili. Mm. The meat is a bit rubbery, but overall a good dish. Okay, guys, a lot of eating has made me dehydrated. I think I need something in liquid, something to refresh me. So after this, I think we are going to go some street hopping again and to find if we could have something to drink. So let's go for it guys. But before that, let me just finish this because I don't want to waste the food here because it tastes really good. Okay guys, now I'm going to try some sweet lassi. You know, after eating so much of that uh, non-vegetarian food, it's time to have some lassi. Baya, ek sweet lassi de do baya. And also that uh, paya soup was 60 bucks and the green chili was 70 bucks so it came up to 130 bucks guys. Close to 2 dollars. Thank you Baya. Oh wow, 
I'm sure this is going to be rich, so let me just go for it. Mm. Wow. It's creamy, it's frothy, it's rich. More like a desert drink, guys. Amazing. And also, you have some rose essence in this. Bhaiya, you have a rose dal te. spray. I was right, guys. There is some rose essence in this. But a wonderful, wonderful way of not ending a street food. This is just a refreshment time for us, guys. Mm. Wow. This place is packed, guys. You can see a number of autos, a lot of people, commercial people who just come here to buy something, stop by, have some snacks, have some meal, or rather have a sweet lassi. So guys, let's continue with our street food adventure here in Shivaj Nagar. So after this lassi, let's go try some biryani. I think it doesn't make sense if you come to Shivaj Nagar and not taste your biryani, guys. Let's go. Thank you, Baya. So guys, we were just walking past by the Shivaji Nagar Street Food Lane and we came across this restaurant called Prince Restaurant which is very vibrant and colourful and we thought that we would try some birani. It is impossible to not try a birani in Shivaji Nagar. So here we ordered their beef birani. What I like about this birani is the way they have slathered the masala on the top and to accompany this birani, they have given us three beautiful accompaniment over here. Here we have the just curd and cucumber. This is a dal. And here we have some sort of a... What is Gravy. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> I know it's gravy. <laughs> so along with this, we have ordered for two starters. Here we have the beef chops. And here we have the beef chops again, but the beef rib topped with some butter. This looks very interesting. We're more excited, so I'm going to try this first. Oh yeah. Let me take some butter. So baby. This looks very interesting, guys. Mm. Mm. I like the smell, the aroma is really good. Mm. Wow. This chops by itself is so rich because of all the fat. And then top it with butter. Guys, where a level guys it is. Mm. And and look at the meat, guys. It's very tender. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Some lemon. Guys, the people over here are so friendly and so kind to us. He just came and he gave me some lemon and he said, squeeze it with this beef chop. Let me try that as well. Thank you, sir. Mm, man. Mm. Wow! What a taste! Hai yaar. Wow! Let's move on with this beef chops. Mm. Guys! Mm. Wow! Mm. It is smoky. And I believe the way this meat has been grilled is what distinguishes between this chops and this chops, guys. And to be very honest, if I could ever get an opportunity to only eat this beef chops for an entire day, I would definitely do it, guys. This beef chili is amazing. Beef chops. You can definitely feel the pungent of that chili and the flavor of the ginger and garlic. And I'm sure they have used a copious amount of red chili in this because it's um, too spicy here as well. Mm. But overall, a master master dish, guys. Mm. So let's move on to the beef birani. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Take some masala as well. Guys, 
This is a typical Birani here in Shivaji Nagar. It's greasy but in a very good way. It's not that aromatic or something, but let me just go for it. Mm. The flavors are very mild. What I like about Birani is that meat, guys. The meat is cooked perfectly. You, uh, you can see all that fiber in this meat that's... You just go for it with the meat. My God. Mm. Guys, if you are a non-veg lover, believe me guys, Shivaji Nagar is the place for you to be to taste some delicious food, delicious street food from sheik kebab to nali soup to beef red chili to that green chili and to this birani to this beef chops with that butter and this beef chop is the grilled one I'm having an amazing time over here and that sweet lassi guys wow we have a lot to cover you know what let me try with this dal over here Honestly, that the flavor in this biryani is a pretty mild. It's that meat that makes this biryani, guys. It's not the biryani that makes the meat over here. Mm. So, guys, this is our last pit stop of a street food adventure in Shivaji Nagar, and we are going to end it with a sweet pan here today. So, I'm just going to wait for my sweet pan. Thank you, Baya. So guys, I got my sweet pan over here. Guys, to be honest, this is one of my best food video I've ever shot. I just want to say I had an amazing time shooting in Shivaji Nagar. The street food over here is amazing. So many different dishes to try out for. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and also drop a comment in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button right now. This is Dom Nigan from Mangri Macha. I'll see you in the next video guys.